Hey guys, what's going on? I got another NU match, and in this one, I have a kind of a little game. It's kind of cool. Um, you're just going to pretty much comment what you think I should do on the turn, but that's like, it's at the end of the battle, so you got to wait for it. You got to watch the whole battle if you want to be able to participate, I guess. I don't know. Not trying to promote anything or anything, but whatever. I'm using the Perugly because someone suggested it, and this team is pretty much just trying to go off of the element of surprise except for the Mistrevis and the Electro. Those things are pretty obvious, and um, I really am probably never going to use Perugly again. Personally, I don't like it, but one thing I want to talk about real quick is I know I always say this, but um, tomorrow I'm not going to do anything. I just am going to stay home because all my friends are busy, and I'm just going to try and make a really competitive go-to team, because I don't really have any of those. I just kind of usually go off the team that I'm currently using, and I want to have a go-to team. Team. So anyways, I'm leading off with my Mr. Mime. He's leading off with his Kangaskhan, which, by the way, is pretty much the biggest threat on his team. And seeing that he led off with it, I knew it was probably going to have fake out, so I go to my Relicanth to take it pretty easily, bluff the defensive set, but no, I am choice banded, and that head smash does 96%, just shy of taking it out. And you will see that because it did not take it out, I'm not even sure if it could, but because it didn't, that plays a huge role this whole game. But anyways, I go for the U-turn on the switch or anything because that's actually my only attacking move on that set, which is kind of bad. I just go into my Mr. Mime going for the nasty plot, knowing that he might want to get his rocks up. And if he goes for attack, it's not going to do that much unless he's like offensive or something. And if he wanted to like swords dance or stockpile, I don't know. I can encore him into anything and then psychic on the switch, which works out just well for me. And I do have the focus sash I them so I always try to get Mr. Mime in before the rocks are up and he goes for the signal beam gets a crit doesn't matter because I can cleanly take him out with a plus two psychic he brings in his Kangaskhan I'm like okay I don't have a spinner no point in uh, saving my Mr. Mime with one percent and yeah so I bring in my Perugly now and um, I'm not sure if he predicted well he, no he probably didn't predict this <laughs> But I go for the Toxic, thinking that he would want to go for the Sucker Punch, and he goes into his Arbok. Now, this is very bad, because I did not want to taunt, because looking at my team, I thought that I needed my Perugly to take out the Kangaskhan, because I do not have a lot on my team to outspeed it, and with Mistrevis, I can't even hit it, because my only attack is Shadow Ball. And the only way that I can take it out with my Mistrevis is by Destiny Bond, and I do not want to have to get a situation to set that up. I go into my Relicant thinking I can take a hit, but no, he takes me out the Gunk Shot, which really sucks. So now I go into my Electro thinking, okay, he has his defense up. I do not have a lot left, not a lot of options, because uh, he took out... Um, I don't know, this team is kind of weird, whatever, I Volt Switch, does a round half, I go to my Mistrevis, just thinking that on this turn, I can go for the Destiny Bond, and take him out when he does take me out with the Coil, or not the Coil, why did I say the Coil, the Gunk Shot, because it did 27% last time, I'm pretty sure. But he goes for the rest, and that sucks, because he got Shed, or he didn't get his Shed Skin, so he's just going to switch, um... I go for the pain split on the Cradilly so I can live because I don't have heal bell. Well, actually, it wasn't on the Cradilly, it was on the Switch, but whatever. I go into my Roselia thinking that I can take any hit that he wants to go for. And I go for the Sludge Bomb over the Leaf Storm I am Specs, if I did not say that already. Um, just because he was at, f like, around a good amount of HP, and he's definitely specially defensive by that damage, and because he told me. <laughs> and he goes to the Hidden Power Fire once again. I kind of wanted to save my Roselia just because no point in wasting it. And here, I'm pretty sure I go for the Destiny Bond again. He makes a great play, goes into his Kangaskhan, and puts me in a very awkward position where he is going to get to freely fake out anything on my team. So I go into my Electro knowing that I can take a hit, and he here I make a pretty great play if I must say so myself. I predict the Sucker Punch and I go into my Perugly and yes he does go for the Sucker Punch and it fails and on this turn I'm like okay what do I do? 
Um, I go for the Toxic again, just playing it safe, because I didn't want him to Sucker Punch and then just kill my Perugly, because then I would have just cleanly, like, simply lost the game, because there would have been nothing else I could do. But no, I go for the Toxic, and then the U-Turn... Wait, did I Super Fang there? I, I wasn't even paying attention. Sorry about that. But yes, I do have Super Fang, and it's a really weird set. It's kind of like a wall, lure, and killer, but whatever. I take out the Arbok with a Thunderbolt, and I have Life Orb just because this is like supposed to be the thing that gets um, the nasty plot boost from my Mr. Mime because its fourth move is Baton Pass. I go into my Prayer Ugly. Here, I pause it. Now, this is what I want you to do. My sets will hopefully be up on the screen in an annotation, which they hopefully will be or this will be embarrassing but um my set is well no it's up on the screen whatever but i want you to say what you would do in this position you can comment it below you should do that now maybe pause the video or something because it's about to play out and i want to know what you guys would do because uh this is a pretty tight situation and yeah let's play this out see what i chose and as you see, he goes for the Sucker Punch, and it fails because I chose to go for the Toxic, because either way, it would take him out. But unfortunately, it misses. Now, this is another tight situation mind game, and maybe the sets will be up there again. I'm not sure if it's necessary to put them twice, but as you can see, I or he avoided the Toxic, so now he knows that I'm trying to avoid the Sucker Punch. And, um, so I can either kill him with U-Turn or go for the Toxic, pretty much. Those are my pretty much two options, and he just saw me go for the Toxic, so I could go for the Toxic again, and he would kill me with, um, a move, or he could go for the Sucker Punch again. I don't know. Let's, yeah, let's see how this plays out. I decided to go for the U-Turn, knowing that he would predict me to go for the Toxic again, and I kill him. And now I go into my Roselia, but still, <laughs> I did that freeze frame frame, freeze frame thing. Wow, I'll try saying that ten times faster, five times, or whatever. But uh, it didn't really matter, because either way, I pretty much lost, because there's not a lot I can do to the Cradilly and the Armaldo. Maybe if I had taken out the Cradilly right there, because I could switch out and then go into my um, cat perugly thing, and then come back in and leave storm or giga drain or something i don't really know roselia is incredibly not bulky at all without eviolite it cannot take a hit to save its life except for that hidden power but i take it out with the u-turn and um yeah i'm at six percent there's pretty much no way i'm gonna beat the armaldo one-on-one -on -one, especially with the set that i'm running which you hopefully already saw and yeah, so I want you guys to leave me some feedback, please, and tell me um, <laughs> if that thing that I tried today was just stupid, or if it was pretty cool and you liked it, it got you more involved, other than just a narration, and this was a pretty long battle, but it was pretty good, it had me at the edge of my seat the whole entire time, now I am going to try and get more back into more competitive but you can still leave me sets i will probably upload more battles like this like play half and half play silly battles and not silly whatever <laughs> goodbye